I guess we can do this. Because it is that day, apparently. Tracking is being real funky today. My goodness. I wonder if it's because it's just hot or something. I do not know. Anyway. Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terraqua Tour today. Welcome to Monday. Monday, July 15th, 2024. It's day 197. Because I'm a potato. Like... Huh. Day 200 comes on Thursday. <laughs> on my day. Sorry, Tessa. I get day 200. Because, frankly, I don't think we're going to have time to do anything particularly special for it. It's been a whirlwind of too many things. Um... Lilia, Buttercup, and Sweet Pea are not home right now. They're over at my mother-in-law's or, you know, Lilia's mother's house. They're probably going to go visit um, their nanny or, you know, their, their great grand Lilia's grandmother or the kids' great-grandmother. How about that? They're, they might go visit over there, but... Uh, that, that side of the family... Um, with things that are going on right now... I question why, I, I am questioning why they decide, why the hospital decided to even, you know, release the, their, uh, their grandmother or, you know, Lily's grandmother. I don't know why they decided it was okay to release, but my guess is because of the overall situation, because as of right now, um, Lily's mother and both of her aunts and her un and her other uncle are of the opinion that they do not think it's going to be too much longer. So there is that, but it, it, I'm just glad that they were finally able to get out of the house, vis visit their, their, you know, the kids' grandmother or Lily's mother. There, there are multiple generations going on with this. So, so <laughs> I'm trying to keep this as consistent as I can, given that there's a great-grandmother, a grandmother, Lilia being the mother and the kids being the kids. So we're, we're looking at, what, four generations? <laughs> anyway, they're over there. Uh, I know Buttercup has some friends that live next to Lilia, next to her grandmother. So she's got friends over there. Sweet Pea, I am positive, is playing with their dogs, which means before they get home, I'll have to take some allergy medicine to make sure I don't get all stuffy. We, we know how this goes. But... I, um... I can't really say I'm thrilled with what happened over the weekend. Um... I, I think it's going to be... I think it's finally time I actually do some work on my second channel. Because I do have two channels. I just don't really do anything on the second channel. I haven't in years. But I think it's time I finally start doing things on there. Because there there are things on my mind. And I am... Um, I am displeased with the behavior of some people. How about that? I can leave it at that. I don't... I don't like talking about it where... I don't like talking about these things where I say the... Um, I, I, I try very hard to follow the mantra of time and place. And here, here with this, this is not the time and place. This is our, hey guys, I'm sober still. This is where we still have fun and say we're sober and talk about family, family goodness, wholesomeness. Because uh, if you look at the, like, in the past, like, you know, five years ago, kind of still, or yeah, about five years ago when I first started VR, yeah, um, let's just say in the early, in the early er days of VR chat, it was very difficult to remain wholesome, especially because when I started VR chat was also in the, in, in the height of my, uh, well, my alcoholism. So behavior was subpar. It's been, it's been, a, it's been, um, a time of growth. How about that? But again, it, it, that whole drinking thing got so bad where I just stopped socializing in general because I was either too drunk or 
too hungover to bother socializing, so that it all stopped. But I sometimes wonder if it's a possibility that I don't socialize as much purely because I, I, I've grown as a... Well, not like I've grown as a person. I am above you. No, nothing like that. Trust me, it's nothing like that. No, it's more that my patience level socially is much lower. But I, again, I think that's because I don't really do any drinking. And... Uh, huh. I, I don't do any drinking, which means... I mean, I, 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 I use drinking to be humorous kind of thing. So, finding... I was always afraid I'd be really boring as a sober person. So, I always drank around people, so I was funny. And a lot of that stems from when I was a teenager and young adult. People always said that I was always too serious and too angry, is what people would say. And whenever I was... On something, because um, if I was drunk, they'd be like, "Oh, you're fun." And uh, I remember the times I had to be on uh, particularly potent pain medications due to some injuries. People were like, "Oh, I like you like this," so it, it it left an impression to where it's like, "Oh, so the only way people can appreciate a humorous side and a calm side of me is if I'm inebriated." Well, I've grown past that to the point where I can't say I don't care. In fact, I do not I do not like the phrase I don't care. Because if you openly tell someone I don't care when they've said something or ask you something, you've obvi you obviously care enough to even formulate a response. So be careful about when you say the phrase I don't care. Evidently, I care enough because it remains in the back of my head or the back of my mind where I, I definitely worry about whether or not. <sighs> no, nah, I got those words mixed up. It's just I don't care enough to still drink and still socialize. And I don't care enough to worry about if I'm being funny for people. I, I, I care just just not enough. And again, it's because I have a family of my own. I have my priorities. I have a I have a, a very important goal of sobering up completely because I can't keep this up anymore. I I do not want to get liver disease. I don't want liver disease. Liver did it did. I don't want liver disease. I don't want kidney disease. I don't want any of those problems. I'd like to get my health in order, which means. I, I'm not. I don't want to say if anymore. I'm going to say when because think about it. We're more than halfway through this year now. We we've made it. We've made it over six months of being completely sober. Haven't had a single drop touch these lips. I've smelled it because I you know I've smelled wine. I've used it in cooking, of course, but I don't drink that stuff. I won't let a single sip enter these lips. Mm -mm -mm. No, but I'm going to say when we reach the 365 mark. I, I'm kind of on the impression that I'm just going to let it ride and see how, after that, just see how long I can go. I'm thinking about that, because I don't know if I want to celebrate the 365 by getting absolutely trashed on New Year's Eve, if you know what I mean. But, the I'm thinking it'll be time that I, at pretty soon, either soon or... Or once we hit the 365 mark, if I add a new goal, and obviously it's going to be um, getting my metabolic health in order. That would be a really good, important one, because I'm not getting any younger. I mean, a certain day is coming up in just a few weeks. In fact, um, yeah, uh, but a certain day is coming up uh Early next month that... Well, I know also early next month. I think... Was it the 10th or the 15th? No, in a month. A month from from yesterday, Buttercup's going back to school. But... Um, early next month is a reminder. I'm not getting any younger. I'm not. In fact, never assume you're getting any younger. It just means if you feel like you're younger... You're probably healthier, so keep your health in order. 
And that's something I definitely need to do, so I need to keep track on these things. <sighs> anyway... I, um... I'm gonna go in. Kind of thing, I don't know. Plenty of... Plenty of... You know, honestly, I really wish there was actually rain in my town right now. It was very hot. The heat index was high. Not as bad as some other places, but still not good. The humidity was still up, though, because that's there. But the humidity should go... The, the, people are excited. It's like, oh, we have a cold front com coming up by, like, Wednesday. It's like, oh, we have a cold front? Yeah, it's going to be 94 Fahrenheit. Because that's a cold front now. Cold fronts are 105 Fahrenheit now. Or not 105. A cold front is now 94, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't have a calculator out for, for Celsius. I, I'm okay using Fahrenheit because I'm absolutely used to it. But when it comes to measurements, I actually prefer the metric system over the Im imperial, which is what the Americans use. Americans use imperial. I actually do prefer metric because it's so, it's so much simple. That was terrible grammar. It's just simpler. It is so much simpler to use metric than it is the imperial system. Why are we working in sets of 12 and 32s being our, our feet and yards? So 32 inches is a yard. Why not we just use 100 centimeters being a meter? Do it, do it in, in, um, what just happened to me? Anyway, it, what, if, if we do that, it would be a lot easier because it would be in increments of what's with the boinker? It's like, uh, oh, um, well, it's up there now doesn't have gravity physics apparently that was my fault but all of that aside because like I said this channel is to focus on remaining sober keeping up with that having fun with my family because my family means everything to me and just having fun having fun with by myself with Lilia or the family I'm hoping to get some videos with Lilia in. I'd love to do some content with Lilia. Lilia, if Lilia is cooperative, how about that? Oh, great. It's doing that again. Look, I really don't like that it does that. But I'm hoping to do some... You were working just fine a minute ago. What happened? I, I don't know. But I'm hoping... I'm hoping to do even some VR chat with Lil excuse me with Lilia even tonight if we're lucky but right now she is trying to finally finish up a series that she wanted to finish years ago because we haven't she hasn't watched it in like what I want to say almost 10 years well no not 10 years but when did we watch last that series I don't think it was here. I don't think it was when we were in Oklahoma. I think the last time we watched it, we were in California. So it's it, it had to have been at least, uh, I want to say at least six years. At at the minimum, it's been six years since she watched the show. She's watching The Walking Dead right now. And she, she just wants to get it finished up so she can finish it and know that she actually got to finish it. So we're gonna, I'm going to let her finish it. But... Hopefully somewhere in the near future. I'm still hoping for tonight, but we don't watch these kinds of shows when the kids are awake, only when they're asleep. But I'm still hoping to do some VR chat with Lilia. We will see. As for the other topic I was talking about being when it comes to being displeased with people on the internet for their vile behavior, I think what I'm going to have to do... Well, I'm going to have to start doing stuff on my other channel where I was going to do... Um, I was going to do random news stuff, and I wanted to stick to just random. I mean, the, the main one I did on there was a was a re, uh, an art I reviewed. Um, I commentated 
I commented on an article for an old um, ceiling fan recall that happened in Canada. For something that Lily is absolutely terrified of is that this this recall happened what like five four or five years ago, where um, the recall happened because the ceiling fan, the blades on there could come loose, and while the fan is running, could just throw the ceiling fan blades off of the unit in you know into people. So yeah, it was good they did a recall. Good on them for doing that rather than letting people go. Ah, my neck kind of thing but with things going on I, I i've been trying to avoid all of these topics um in content because i just i i personally see it as lazy i i, I don't like doing i don't like doing the easy stuff you know plus i don't i really don't like being angry it's exhausting I, it really, it really is exhausting to be angry. It's, uh, I mean, d d didn't they used to say that, what was it? It takes more muscles to frown than it is to smile. Something like that. I think that's what it used to be is that it's actually more exhausting to, on your face to be frowning all the time. And plus, pl plus you get wrinkles if you frown too much. And well, Surprisingly, I don't know. Well, I'm not at that point. I know I've got some gray hairs growing and uh, growing on the top of my head, but I ha I'm I'm not a hundred percent because because um well I know in in my on my side of the family um male pattern baldness runs in my family. How about that? But so far I haven't seen any signs of balding, and I and I'm almost thirty six years old, so. Hopefully I'm in the clear, but I don't know. I do I do like having the gray hair though. I don't know why, but I've always liked the idea of just being old. Why do I like the idea of being old? <laughs> I do. I don't mind getting older. I don't mind growing up and I don't mind having gray hair. I I think that's kind of like having a badge of honor kind of thing. You made it. I don't like the idea of growing bald, though. So let's let's all hope I never go bald. Let's hope for that one. But luckily, we are luckily we're also finally in the era where th VR chat, virtual reality, and VTubing exists now. So if these kinds of things happen, you can just use a VTuber model and not and not worry about it. But I'm also the kind of person where I have the oh sorry. I have those 360 videos and I do IRL as well because I, I don't mind. I do not mind showing my face because, well, it, it, it's less effort and energy and less to worry about, I, I, I guess. But anyway, uh, I, I think I've, I want to say I think I've ranted enough today. How about that? I have definitely, definitely ranted enough today, like. Too much. How about this? I, I, I have. I'd really like this finger to be working properly. It won't let me. Really? Now you work. Anyway, I. Really? Why do you do this to? Why do you do this to me? I'll get there. I. I I'll. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> this is Terra Quator on your Monday, July fifth, July fifteenth, two thousand twenty-four. Freaking day one hundred ninety-seven. It's both shocking. Well, it, it it is definitely shocking that it's it's a we're one hundred ninety-seven days into this, but it's also really exciting that we're that far. We have come a very long way, and for those who have been along for the ride. If you've been making any okay, if you've been making efforts to improve yourself, go ahead go ahead and uh, tell people in the comments down below what you've been doing this year to improve to go along with self-improvement. In the meantime, this is Terra Quator signing out. I will see everyone tomorrow.